tasks log in Unifier has been redesigned to be more efficient and streamlined. The page displays tasks in the left panel and a preview of a selected record in the right panel. View workflow progress and record and line item attachments. You can now accept or undo accept tasks without opening the form. The icon colors indicate if a task is current or late. Use context menu options to take an action. Print a selected record or navigate to company workspace or the originating project from the home tasks log. Use the actions menu options to take bulk actions. You can now create a new record in the home tasks log. Use default views or create your own views. Quick filters let you quickly customize the view. Edit view provides more advanced options to select columns. Add generic and BP specific filters. Select grouping and sort by parameters and save the customized views. The configuration packages log in Unifier has been modernized to provide optimal user experience. Menu and toolbar functions have been replaced by create, import, view, and filter actions. The log lists the configuration packages in varying statuses and sorted on version numbers. Use the buttons below to cancel, save as draft, or proceed to the next step. The package components step automatically displays the count of tagged designs and published untagged designs that will be included in the configuration package. It also allows the selection of additional components to be included in the package. In the package summary step, preview the package contents and finally create and download the export file in the create step. Import also has a wizard flow providing a step-by-step -step guidance to import a configuration package. After uploading the import file and viewing the package details, map users in the user mapping step. User mapping is now a feature of import instead of create seen in earlier unifier versions. There is no change in functionality. Then import the package. New functionality in Unifier 17 includes additional options for copying attachments in auto-created records. Copy upper form and detail form attachments of the source record into the auto-created record. Specify if detail form attachments are copied as record or line item attachments. The availability of these options depends on the business process type, line item, or simple. Let's assume we want detail form attachments to be copied to the upper form of the auto-created record. The source record has two attachments in a line item. Click Send to initiate the auto-creation. Open the auto-created record. Line item attachments are displayed in the upper form only. Unifier also now extends the ability to reset field values on the creation step in auto-created records. This is particularly useful if the values are no longer applicable in the auto-created record. Task assignees can enter new values in the fields. This step in the business process is designed to auto-create a new record. Reset is defined on actual completion date and record status fields. Let's see if their values are cleared in the auto-created record. 
Click Send to route the record to the end step and auto-create a new record. Values of actual completion date and record status are reset. The reset enhancements applies to I-step and S-step methods of auto-creation. Resets can now be defined on date pickers and data pickers. Unifier now allows the use of custom stamps created in AutoView. Begin by navigating to the new AutoView Stamps node under Configuration in the Company Workspace tab, Administration Mode. Unifier provides two default stamps and data elements to place on custom stamps created in AutoView. Available data elements are displayed in the left panel but not all are applicable for stamps. The right panel displays elements previously selected by administrators for custom stamps. Selection is typically based on generic fields placed on business process forms. In a moment, we will see how these fields read data from a business process form when a stamp is placed on a file attachment in AutoView. Use the import wizard to upload the INI and EMF files associated with the stamps. The new stamp will now be available to place on documents reviewed in the AutoView viewer in Unifier. Unifier also allows you to compare two versions of a vector document, which can be business process attachments or documents in the document manager. Open a business process form to view its attachments. The left attachments panel displays the two versions of a design. Next, we will compare the two versions and see the result. Clear the document versions checkbox if you want to compare with a version saved on your local system. The two versions are displayed side by side. The drawing in the Comparison Results section highlights the changes. Next, we will view an approval stamp placed on the revised version. Stamps are associated with markups, which in turn are associated with comments. Add or modify values in the DMS attributes. The stamp reads the values from the related fields in the business process form. Unifier now allows you to specify the preferred language, time zone, and date format for a contact in a vendor record. Add contact language, date format, and time zone fields in the upper form design of a master vendor's business process. When we use the requests for bid business process to send a bid invitation to vendors, the notifications they receive are in the preferred language specified in the master vendor's record. The portal and the bidder form also reflect the selected language, time zone, date format, and numerical format.